गुड आफ्टरनून आई नो से माई डियर स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास टेन येस डियर स्टूडेंट वी आर इन दॉडिटिक इक्वेशन एंड ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस द इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस दैट मीन्स थ्री फोर क्वेश्चन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस एंड रिटर्न इन दाइट वर्ड टू क्वेश्चन एंड हेयर क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट लोड दैट एट फर्स्ट इज दिवन दैट द सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ टू कंजिकेटिव पोजिटिव इंटीजर इज फोर्टी वन फाइव द इंटीजर दिस टाइप्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट मीन्स Sum of squares of two conjugative integers. Yes, we are going to suppose the conjugative integer at first. So previous that means at first, first integer must be x. Yes, no, either the odd integer, the even number, odd number, whatever there is, we have to take the first that is number as x, yes, and then second as a what is that? Integer that means serially one, two, three, four like this and that. So we have to get at first. Right? So question number first at first it is given that yes from the first condition we are going to do that. So for the solution at first the sum of the square of the two conjugative integer. So we are going to get the two conjugative. Let the two conjugative conjugative yes. Positive integer, positive integer b x and x plus one. Yes, if three, then x plus two is there. Yes, now just two is there. So according to question, is sum of squares of that is squares and then sum. No, so according to question. According to question, it is said that yes. According to question, is that means sum of the square like this now equals to forty one. This is it is said. Now let's simplify this. Yes, x square plus now a plus b whole square. This is in the formula, so we can write a square plus two. A B plus B square equals to forty one. Yes, that is another x square x square we get two x square plus sine plus two into one two into x we get two x plus one square that is one and here forty one it is in the positive that side. Yes, yes. When you bring B. This side then it becomes minus forty one equals to zero. This is a not yes. So we get what two x square plus two x and now look here minus sign plus sign is here minus is greater so let's say minus and forty one minus one we get forty equals to zero. This is a not and now look that make it in the simple form two is here two is here forty is here. We can take out two as a common from this three, so take out that. So we get two common. Here we get x squared plus. If you take out two, then we get x minus. If you take out two from forty, that means divide this forty with two. It is same. Yes. So we get twenty equals to zero. And these two is multiply this side and it divides. So we get what x squared plus x. Minus twenty equals to zero upon two. That is in the division form. Yes. So we can write this as x squared plus x minus twenty equals to zero upon something. That means we get the zero. Yes. Now let's do the factorization with that. No. That is the easy one. Yes. Twenty is here. Minus sign is here. That means we have to find such a two number from twenty. That while multiplying we get twenty. And while subtracting, we get one. Here it is nothing. That means one. So twenty is here. Five four is twenty. Five minus four, we get one. And that, uh, that is easy. No, twenty is the easiest term. That's why no need to factorize that. Yes. So we get what? X squared plus five minus four into x minus twenty equals to zero. This is. So we can write this as x squared plus five x. Plus minus minus 4x and minus 20 equals to zero. This is yes or no? 
and now from these two term take out common and first and from these two term yes so let's do here yes we can take out from these two alphas here is the x square that means 2x is here and here 1x so we can take out x as a common and we get x plus and 5 is here now look there for, from these two pairs yes minus is here and minus is here so take out minus as a common yes and 4 here in 20 there is also 4 so we can take out 4 from there and we get what x plus 5 equals to 0 that is yes how you become plus if you take out minus sign from there then if you take out same sign that means minus sign that we get positive no that's why x plus 5 so the expression in the bracket at first we are going to write that means x plus 5 yes and remaining term in the next bracket equals to 0 yes we are going to do either error. either x plus 5 equals to 0 x equals to minus 1 minus 1 now look here it is sad that positive integer but we get the minus 5 is here so this minus 5 we are going to reject that that is not possible it is not the positive one so rejected one or x minus 4 equals to 0 we get x equals to 4 that is a nut that means 1 the positive integer is 4 and next one therefore first integer x equals to 4 and second integer x plus 1 yes equals to 4 plus 1 equals to 5 this is the so therefore two integer are therefore the two consecutive yes integers are 4 and 5 respectively this is we are going to write this yes in this way we can do the question number first no? and these types of the question they ask for the four marks be careful yes now look the question number second yes and in question number second it is out of the digits one no two digit number and this type of the question that means two digit number we have discussed in the simultaneous also but in simultaneous equation they are the simple type that is a uh, linear equation we are going to discuss in that yes but here it is in the quadratic equation so some multiplication sign are there no now question number second look that yes we are going to let at first the two digit number yes let the two digit two digits number b that is 10x plus 1 we have already discussed why we have written 10 with x that means 10x plus 1 yes that is two digit number and this x and y are the digits no yes and this from condition first that is first condition it is given that the product of digits of two digit number is again that is digits are x and y so x into y equals to 18 this is yes and then <coughs> x into y equals to 18 and from there we can write x equals to 18 upon y and that suppose this are the first yes in the simple form let's say that and from the second condition second condition it is given that yes what is there read at first yes second condition the number obtained by reversing its digit is 27 more than the original number that means if you reverse the digit this is the reverse one and this number is 27 more than the original that means plus 27 like this yes or not this is the original number and 27 greater than this one we have to add that 27 to the original number no this is yes and now let's simplify this bring this x and y to the one side so we get 10y plus x yes 
and this 10x, so we get minus 10x, minus y equals to 27. This is how much? Now we get 10y is here, minus y is here, we get 9y. Minus sign minus, minus is greater, that's why 10 minus 1, we get 9x equals to 27. This is, and now 9, we can take out 9 as a common, let's make it a simple one. So, y minus x equals to 27, yes, and this 9 is multiplied, this side then it divided. So, y minus x equals to 27 by 9, that means what? y minus x equals to, we get 3, 9, 3 is 27, this is how much, and this is the uh, equation, so I put this as the equation second, yes, and we are going to put the value of x from the equation first to the second, yes, so let's put in the value of x in equation second, yes, in equation second, if you put them, y minus 18 upon y equals to 3, this is the, yes, let's simplify this, we are going to take the LCM of this side first, so we get the LCM y, yes, and this y goes, that means 1 is here, so 1 into y, y, so that y multiply with this, we will get what, y square minus 18 equals to 3, this is, yes, this is the, if you take the LCM of that, now look here, yes, and this y is in the divide, this side then it multiplies, so we get what, y square minus 18 equals to 3y, this is, yes, now this 3y bring this side, then we get what, we get what, or we get y square minus 3y minus 18 equals to 0, this is, and now we are going to factorize this, that means by the factorization method we are going to solve this. Now, from 18, yes, we are going to make two numbers such that multiplying we get 18 and subtracting we get 3. That means 6, 3 is 18, 6 minus 3 we get 3 and not. so we are going to write that. So y square minus 6 minus 3 into y minus 18 equals to 0. This is a not. Yes, now <coughs> y square minus 6y minus minus we get plus 3y minus 18 equals to 0. Yes? Now take the common line first from these two. We take out y. So we here it remain y minus and y from this then we get 6. Plus sign is here, so plus is the common. 3 if you take out we get y from here. And this 3 is divided with 18. No? So we get minus 6 equals to 0, this is, <coughs> so we get what, y minus 6 and y plus 3 equals to 0, this is, two numbers, we are going to either, yes, y minus 6 equals to 0, y equals to 6, yes, or, let's do here, y plus 3 equals to 0, y equals to minus 3, and this minus 3, Yes, we are going to negate this, no? Minus 1, we are going to reject that. This is not possible time, no? So, rejected one. Yes, minus sign 1 is the rejected one. And we are going to take the, this one, y plus 2, 6. If you put, put in the value of y plus 2, 6 in equation first, Let's put this in equation first. We get x equals to 18 upon 6, that means 3. We get the value 3. Yes or no? The value of x equals to 3 and y equals to 6. We get 2 values. But this is not the required answer. We have learned that the two number is 10x plus 1. Therefore, the required, the required number equals to 10x plus y, that means what? 10 into 3 plus 6, that is what? 30 plus 6, we get what? 36. This is the required answer, no? This is the required answer. That is the two digit number is 36. 
and if you put this yes in both the condition yes in the both the condition then this shell is solve both the condition yes in this way we solve the question number 2 also yes so these two question we have discussed here and that is yes for today uh, we are going to uh, do up to this one yes and next question we will discuss in the next classes thank you